it's your girl, Killer Cam Bam, Killer Cam Bam. And welcome back to another episode of Killer Talk. Welcome, welcome. Y'all see, I got my guy here. I'm doing an interview. I'm going to let him introduce himself. What up, bro, everybody? It's your man, AB, the owner of Soon Customs Clothing. Here, Soon Customs Clothing here right now with Killer Cam Bam. Period. Okay, so basically, he has a clothing line, and we're gonna discuss like how he got into it, and basically give you guys some tips and how you could possibly start your own clothing line, or if you feel like you already have one going, this might get it going a little bit more. So happy to have him here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn my channel up so you don't miss out on the video. Hit that notification bell. You already know you do not want to miss out on the vibes. I hope you guys are enjoying the podcast. I have been loving the reviews from it. So, yeah, keep turning the channel up, y'all. Welcome to Killer Talk. So, let's talk some shit. Let's talk some shit. All right. All right. So, let's get it going. <laughs> don't be nervous. I ain't going to grill you. All right, bitch. Okay. So, how did you come up with the concept? Of some customs. Really, it's a way of life for real. Like with everything, like especially for our people, like <clears throat> we always face with adversity because I know majority of us don't come from well off families and you know what I'm saying, fortunate situations. So even even those that do though, still though, you know what I'm saying, we all be striving to make something out of nothing. You right. Know what I'm saying? So we take the love that we got and try to make more and try to do what we can to provide and make sure that, you know, it's spread back into the community. So it started off with just, you know, like I said, the way of life. Anything I, I get my hands on, I'm trying to make somebody and do a little bit extra with it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that's what the acronym stands for, something out of nothing. S O O N. Something so, out of nothing. Yeah, that's how we so came out with the song Custom. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love that. So you mainly reached you or you branched out in a fashion way. So it was like you always like had that sense of fashion. Yeah. Ever since I was a kid, I was like one of those kids who grew up with like all the Jordans, all the Grand Hills, the Patrick Ewans, the Shacks, all that. Okay. Any type of shoe, you know what I'm saying? I was a sneaker and right. any athlete that was like Leading in that they division or whatever or uh, field career that they played in, mm -hmm. yeah, I was on their shoes. Okay, so you were more of like a shoe head. Yeah, it started off with that, and then you know it ain't really hard, but you know I don't like being like everybody else. So that's where the whole just add my own little ones and two pieces to different stuff to to separate myself from everybody else. Because, okay, so what I've noticed from some customs, because I follow, like, the clothing line, it's been different brands, like... Collections. Collections, yeah, that's what you call them, different collections. collections. So what was your first collection? The first, the very first collection that I came out with, it was the... Better Days collection. Ooh. It was the Better Days collection, yep. And that was the Better actual Days. first uh, logo that I had did. I had made it myself because I ain't, you know, trying to figure it out. And then when I first started my company, it was like right at the end of 2019 going into 2020. And that's when all the pandemic stuff popped off. So mm. it was like, really, I had took the idea of, like, I had the acronyms, that's O O N, right? So, but then I found the different, uh, emojis and so then i used the dollar sign right. a pair of eyes and then the rain cloud so then i uh I, I symbolized that as like getting through the storm because like everybody was in the storm right. you know what i'm saying and, and it's like better days got to come after That's everything so that we're going through right now you know what i'm saying and then they had a little picture of a man and the woman the, the woman was carrying the money and the man was like pushing her towards yeah it was, it was the man carrying the money or the woman pushing him or something like that but that's the very, very first logo I did myself, and the collection was Better Days. Oh, I love them. So now your last collection is Taste. Yeah, that's what we rocking. That's what so. And we've been doing Taste since, like, last summer, like, like last, about May, 
So the collections are based off of what you're like not going through in life, but you know, a sense of what's going on in life. It varies because some collections like are sentimental to me. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. the trust issues collection. Mm. That's that's really me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I I wear a broken heart on my sleeve, so it's mm -hmm. like that with me. So, but then it's like uh, I got the the Better Dads collection was like for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like anybody going through something like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So the taste the taste came about. Oh, some silly stuff like I think we about to get ready to go out of town, and then I work with an artist, uh, A Six Esco, and then we was talking about what type of merch we could wear down there to separate us while we was down there type stuff, and okay. then we came up with the little slick tongue out, and <laughs> lick your lips if you want to taste and all that, and then it started off with him just him wearing the t-shirts like that, and then. It branching off because really? the major thing like that's the main that's what we running with right now i had no idea he had all over the world all he over was. the country everybody you can see something like everybody with it on he you know my you my face my uh, instagram page i'm everybody in who everybody know and love is on there with the taste on showing that you know you can come get a taste that is okay so your collections they come and go so if i wanted like something from Better days or trust issues. It's all available. That's like what make you custom. Yeah. Okay. That's so what make it custom. You can get that and you can do whatever you want with it. Like if you like like that one, but you don't like this color, or you want right. to add something to this, then yeah, let me know and we'll make it work. That's what the whole customs came from. That's where it's something out of nothing, okay. and then we we'll customize it for you if you want it done like that. So pretty much with with your customizing. Do you do outside of your brand? Like, if I wanted to, like, do something for my birthday or something, like, do you customize, like, for other people? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So people can, like, contact you with their ideas for you to that, that's how it do it. Absolutely. And then, you know, they pay you type shit, you Absolutely. know, to do it. Yeah. And then okay. Get, the, get all the, the information worked out to where they need to ship in. And, and it beat her in a timely fashion. Okay, so it's like you're, you could be a vendor as well. So it's like your brand and you're also like vendor and not like, okay, well, I can do this for you as well type shit. Absolutely. Okay, that's Absolutely. lit. Okay, so do you have the website where you can go and we purchase? We look, man, look, man, with the website, I'm going to tell you about what the happened? websites. No, it's just with the websites, you know, people be leery. To use websites because there's a lot of scamming stuff going on. It do be scamming every you know time I saying? see it. I'm like, let me Google search this. And that be the thing. And it's so hard with like, this is one thing that most companies not going to say. Like, it be so hard to try to weed through the company. Because by being a small company, right. they really looking like, all right, is this or is this not. So I killed the website for real for right now. Like, until we get it to where it's constant traffic that's really looking, looking right. like, if you want to hit me up, you know, I'm, uh, I stay on Instagram with all the new latest updates and okay. anything, like, that's your main source to contact me on Instagram, just DM, the DM, because that's where it all started. Are you, um, would you ever send out your stuff to people, like, to... Celebrities? Not, I guess not. Celebrities, influencers. influencers. I did okay. Yeah, we already, yeah, it's like that. Oh, wow. So you out here yeah, doing yeah, all like, types of collaborations like already. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. Shit, we did one with you. Oh, yeah. Yo, yeah. Well, yeah. You know, I, you know I'm, I'm always supporting. I'm always supporting. You know what I'm saying? And I love it. I'm not just supporting because I don't support stuff that I really wouldn't like wear. Yeah. And like, you know what I'm saying? Because that's like weird, you yeah. know? You have good material. The stuff is cute and it's different. It you know, like yeah, I love it. I like yeah. the nice comfy fit. But so, is your line more like streetwear, or would you describe it as more like high end fashion, or like both? Like, what would you describe your yeah, line as? Yeah, high end urban fashion. High end urban fashion. Yeah. Okay. Oh, high end urban. Yeah. I like that. Instead of streetwear, because you know that always give it that 
the negative connotation. Right. You know what I'm Swear. So like we say we urban. We urban now. Okay. You know what I'm so they know that's where we in the inner city united. Yes. You know like, yes. I've been seeing a lot of people um try doing more like urban wear than like I want designer, yeah. you know, because yeah. I mean, I don't want to say that you're not a designer because you are, mm -hmm. but like I've seen more like uh, celebrities and influencers like going to those pop up shops and yeah. like I want to wear their brand. I want to see, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They want to wear something it's different. New and fresh. Yeah. And it's different. And see, that's like I said in the beginning, and that's how it, it, it'll start. Like, all right, I got some, some number sixes. Aqua, something, right? Yeah. I don't got nothing to wear with them. Everybody gonna have on this Charlotte Hornets. They gonna have on this. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You exactly. know what they gonna go with. So when you go out to the to the Mees and the other Mees like Mees, you know what I'm saying? Then that's when you can. Oh no, I want this on there, but I wanted this color. Right. And then you got your own hookup off of. You know what I'm saying? And, and everybody, where you get that from? You feel me? Mm -hmm. So that's that be the that be the main thing for me. I love that when they. Where you get that from? Yeah. And then they be like, what? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, who? God help <laughs> And I know a lot of people like custom pieces. Like, okay, we only have 50 of them. I'm only making 50. That's it. Because that can kind of be like a hot commodity too. Exactly. You know, they're like, okay, it's only one of one. Yeah. You know, this some shit. And that's how most runs typically start off. Mm -hmm. Like, it start off with a 20, 50 piece limited collection. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then if they want it for the next season, then we are re-rocking the ass right. new stuff to switch it up a little bit, sauce it up. You yeah, facts. Because there's nothing wrong with bringing something back for the next season, especially if it was something that people were really wanting because mm -hmm. I'm not mad with wearing something last season. It's like wearing the same clothes that you've been having for like two, three years. Like y'all yeah. been wearing the same shit. Man. It's the same shit, y'all. Stop mm -hmm. acting brand new. Man. People act like they don't wear the same outfit five, six times. That's that, that's that COVID. Like <laughs> COVID. You know, sorry to say, but like COVID really messed people up in the brain. It, it like separated us as a people. And then it made everybody brainwashed on whatever they was focusing on while yes. they was doing the COVID shit. So uh, you wasn't out essential dealing with other individuals like you became a fucking zombie or some crazy shit. That's like, can I say that? <laughs> <laughs> they know, they know. And people, yeah, they know. And people are still trying to like bounce back to reality. So, you know, it is what For it real. is. People are, are getting there. Okay. Let's see what else do I want to Okay. So, would you do like a storefront? Like, are you looking to do a storefront or like a small pop up shop? Like, are you into doing those types of things? Yeah, absolutely. My end goal is all right. So, this is how we're going to have some customs the, the brick and mortar. Okay. It's going to be a nice little hookup set up to where when you come in, boom, the first thing you're going to see, you're going to see the barber because my barber top tier cuts. That's me and him business partner. So you're going to see the barbershop set up for everybody to come in and get the haircut. Woo wham wham. The kids come in and play, whatever. We're going to have a whole set up for the side for the kids and all that. So it's going to be family oriented as soon as you come in. Okay. Boom. We opened up and spread up a little bit. Then we got the oils and essentials. We might have some different type of uh, everything organic, freshly made. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of vibe. People love organic. That, you know what I'm saying? We had that type of vibe in there too, incense, all that. And then as you get to the back, that's when you start to see the storefront set up where we had different pieces, different posters, pictures of from the beginning up until now mm -hmm. or whenever. You know what I'm saying? And then we have all the newest collections out, laid out. And then in the back, we had a little set up to where we shoot. You know what I'm saying? Take photo shoots and all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? This so sounds that's the, that's like, the full layout yeah. of the same customs vision when it all gets done. Then, like that's that's where where I where I'm trying to go with it. And you the first person I just said. That is crazy. On the, on the oh, exclusive podcast. drop. We got some exclusive yeah. tea yeah. right now. <laughs> okay, y'all heard it first here. Okay, y'all heard it first here. What the plan is? The master plan is amazing. So it sounds super family oriented. I love that and. So, I mean, you said a barber, 
So is this like just for like guys to like? No, know, it's, it's, it's the whole the ladies. Ladies. The ladies, if they gonna have. You gonna have somebody in there for the yeah, ladies too? Of course. Okay, of course. you know, I think no, you was like. No, my friend, I didn't know. I didn't really know, but that's. It's all like, okay. So I should have said salon. Okay, salon. Salon, absolutely salon. Thank you. That makes absolutely me feel better. Salon. And that's cool because you're like, okay, I'm about to get all fresh, and you looking good. You like, let me go ahead and shop. Find a little fit for the day, you know what I'm saying? Get you fresh. Or you're yeah, like, oh, I need to get somebody something. Yeah, take some pictures. The whole nine. You can leave that mug with a, uh, a portfolio in case you want to yeah. go top model type shit. Okay, yeah. so you, it was that like your what? Five year goal. Yeah, okay. I give it five. I could do that in five. Hell yeah, yeah. I love that. That yeah. definitely yeah. had that space for your craft because. Absolutely. Doing it online, like you said, people don't trust it. Don't, so it's man. like nice to have a storefront where people can walk in and they feel know, the feel the vibes yeah. and get into it with it. So do you have like good prices? Like, Yeah, we work with the customer because like I said, we urbanized so we know everybody ain't trying so to. So you your Kanye shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, and that's one of my favorite okay, Kanye shit. Hey, listen, Kanye, I love Kanye. His mentality on how he moves and do business. He's a he's a he's a genius when it comes to business. Yeah. And and yes, having uh, Ye as an inspiration is nothing crazy. People feel like he's like crazy and bipolar and stuff. But he's just a genius. He's a mad mind, like mm -hmm. in such a, the most brilliant way. Exactly. Like. Kanye mentality is crazy. Like he's really fooling y'all, and that's the best way to do it. You know what I'm saying? That is like the best way to do it. But you gotta have those good prices because, like, you want to have people wearing your stuff. You don't want to be like penny pinching, trying to like, dang, I really want to get into this and spend your last on stuff. You like, okay, I can afford this and still have money left over and be looking real good and some nice material. Like, absolutely, that's the goal. That's the goal. I ain't trying to rob no Peter to pay Paul or nothing like that. Like, I damn near be giving this shit away for real. You asked, the, the last run that I did last year, we gave away over $10,000. Yeah, yeah. No I, cap. No cap. I just showed the, the bank receipts on Instagram and all that. Like, we did that, man. No when cap. We shot the mic. Like I said, we flew to Miami and shot our old music movie video and all that type of shit. Like, all off the taste. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like, man, I love my people and I just want people. And I go get my hoodie. I'm going to get my hoodie so they can see it. I just Because I love them. that guy's hoodie. You know? It's just crazy. I should have I should have already had it in here. I'm slipping, y'all. I'm slipping on my pimping. But I still got it. And y'all going to see it. Period. <laughs> so y'all going to get a sneak peek yeah. of some some cousins. And y'all have seen it. It's on my TikTok. It's on my Instagram. It's on my YouTube. Y'all have seen it. And if you haven't, then the link's going to be in the description down below. You already know. Because that's how we do. We support our people. <laughs> okay, so can you also like customize shoes and like bed sheets and robes? Like how how crazy do these customizations go? Good, I just want to know. I ain't really good with shoes, so I don't okay. really deal with shoes like that. I just buy them for real. Okay, period. Uh, That's cool. But anything else like pillows and sheets and all that, yeah, yeah, we can do all that too. We okay, scarves, hats, hats, hats beanies, be shorts, oh. baby, be uh, beer. The, the whole kit phone cases. So if somebody everything. wanted like you know how um kids have like first birthdays and stuff. You yeah, do like yeah. the whole like first birthday mom dad. Yeah, we just you know. did, we just did we just did one of those. Uh, it, it was a uh, who was it? It was some some lady. Her son turned like four or five, and she had hit me up on on my. Uh, Email. She hit me up in the email and was asking me could I customize him a sweatshirt with some dinosaurs and all this on there that said happy birthday. So, like that. so yeah. Definitely. So y'all heard it too. So if you got family, you got a birthday coming up, a family reunion, hit up oh, some yeah, customs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They are going to get you together for a fair yeah. price. Do not let these people cheat you. You have a black man urban business going strong and trying to get y'all together. You know, yeah. not trying to rob you. Like, that's exactly what freaking America's already trying to do is just take you for every penny. And you got someone who's trying to work with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, the price is going to be different for everybody's circumstances. And that's how you work with people. Like, you just can't. You know what I'm saying? 
one day, yeah, he might have charged this person this because they they were struggling. They really wanted to throw their child a birthday party. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, don't so. It's like Absolutely. whatever. If the price is this, it might be this for somebody else because they needed it more. Absolutely. And just like put the respect on it because that's just how it is. In and, and, and if you all you gotta do is talk to them, yeah, and figure it out. Because like I said, it's more so about the people having what they want. Mm -hmm. We're making some money out of this at the end of the day. Like I'm, I started in 2019, right? My, I had to close down everything one year, like right at Christmas season. Okay. And then they didn't forgot about that because we came back so hard with the taste. Like, but I literally had to shut down my whole shit. Like, no Instagram page, no Facebook page, no website, nothing. Like, I because I had got into a car accident. So mm -hmm. I was off of work for a little minute and mm -hmm. then I was trying to figure some shit out. And then I had to like. sacrifice, like, is it going to be you going to invest money into the business that you don't have? Or you going to get back on your feet and then figure this shit out? So I had to sacrifice everything. Life be life. <clears throat> so, yeah. Life be life. But we bounced back better than ever. Mm -hmm. And we had a great, amazing last year. This year been smooth. I ain't even really been doing nothing but just trying to reach out to more influencers trying to get in contact with more podcasts. You know what I'm saying? And this is what I really want people to know, just get a feel for who I am as an individual and let y'all know that this is how we rocking that song. Cousin. This is how we do. <laughs> okay, so when did you get your LLC? Like, when did that, like, was that? 2020 in March. Okay, so, like, after 2019, he's like, I'm about to get serious about this business. Let me get my LLC. So, for those who, like, are trying to get their business into that path, what would your, your advice be for them? The Laura website. They got all the information. What did you say it's called? Laura, L-A-R-A. L-A-R-A, the yeah. Laura website. Yeah, go on Laura.org, I believe it is. Okay. And it's going to show you all the the step-by-step -step how to get any type of LLC if you want to get a... Uh, sole proprietorship if you want to do um, any forms of business, DBI, anything you want to do, you can go right there and then it's going to give you the hyperlink clicks and you click right on there and follow the step by step. And you might have to pay a little money for certain stuff that you want, but outside of that, it's all through the government website, everything legit on the back end. So, Period. That's yeah. the wisdom. That is the wisdom that we are getting from Sun Customs today. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you for coming out no here. I'm just going to grab uh, some of your stuff because right. I want to show them real quick. And I got something quick. coming for you too. I got a special delivery that's going to be, you're probably going to be at your door. Hey, special so delivery. So when you get it, you, you can let them see it. All right, you don't, don't even tell me. Just, just do it. Just let them know. I'm going to do a special reveal for y'all. I'm going to do a special reveal for y'all. Okay. Yeah. Give me one second. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be right back, y'all. In two shakes. In two shakes. Okay. I just grabbed um, some of my stuff. Okay. Let me show y'all what I got. I just grabbed two pieces for y'all because uh, I was looking for a two dollar ring. <laughs> Anyways, so <laughs> we got the hoodie. Into it, y'all see that? Is it all the way up like that? And then we got the back. Lick your <laughs> lips if you want to taste. Okay, lick your lips if you want a mother effing taste. <laughs> oh, and then the material is just everything, y'all. Details. Love the details on the sleeve. Uh, people don't know, like, people really love that. And then we got tags inside. Okay, ain't no faking. We're a legit business. Okay, and then I got my shirt. That's the bar, baby. Yes, it's the bar. <laughs> I love the this trenches. shirt. <laughs> love this shirt, y'all. Let me, I gotta, I gotta get y'all <laughs> into details. Okay, because this bitch is just so hard. Okay, told y'all love, love a good sleeve with the Homer, with the Zoom, go crazy, even a little back. You my treacherous with twin and we know him like them. <laughs> <laughs> Very. Thanks. Love the line. Okay, and then y'all already know my last video of my Halloween haul, I was wearing a two-piece set, so y'all want to see that? go on my Halloween try on haul and 
that's what I said will be in the beginning of my video. And the link will be in, well, the link is already in the description down below. On that one, there'll be a little link in the description down below on this one. So, run it up. Turn me up. Get a taste. Yeah. Okay, get a motherfucking taste because y'all got a taste of some tea. Y'all yeah. got to taste some business, yeah. some perspectives, some insights on how to become like an entrepreneur. Yeah. Don't be afraid to do that. You know, sometimes you're going to struggle. You might have to take a step back. And just don't forget the mission. Dive back into it and just stay positive, guys. Absolutely. Because that's how you become like this. Hey, thank you for having me. I appreciate you. You know, we love and support the channel and anything that you need from us. We know we can get it to you. Make sure you get it done. And that's how we rock. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate you. I can't wait for my surprise to come in the mail and show y'all that too. <laughs> <laughs> so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the video. So you don't miss out on what my surprise is. That new, you know, drip that I'm about to be getting. Mm -hmm. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. We out. Bye.